Hey everyone, it's Amy Johnston. Thank you so much for tuning back in to another episode of Martial Arts History. So if you're just tuning in to this series, basically what I do is I take different martial arts styles and I go in depth into the history of those styles. And like I've told everyone before, if there's something I miss uh, that you wanted to add, please leave your comments down below. I would love to hear from you. Because again, all the information in this video is just stuff that I've learned throughout the years and things that I wanna share with you. So please feel free to leave your comments and add any additional information that you want in the comment section. The martial art for today's episode is our niece. Our niece is a form of martial arts that's also known as two other names, Kali or Eskrima. This form of martial arts originated in the Philippines and centers around the concept of fighting with weapons, mainly bladed weapons, sticks, and in some places the emphasis is on hand-to-hand -hand combat. Mainly, our niece is taught to help individuals protect themselves against weapons that are easily accessible. Arnis definitely requires an individual to be using their body as a whole unit and all of their movements to coordinate with each other. This practice really enhances one's coordination. As speed is not a crucial factor in Arnis, any age can practice at their own pace. The practice of Arnis was originated in the Philippines by Spanish soldiers, which actually took inspiration from fencing. This practice was really common amongst peasants, and as most of those practitioners lacked education, not much written record exists. A record of Arnis exists exists only after the arrival of the Spanish. In 1521, the use of Arnis was first recorded when the chief of Mactan, Datu Lapu Lapu, defeated Ferdinand Magellan by Kali. However, during the 18th century, Spanish banned the learning of Arnis by the civilians actually fearing that there was going to be a rebellious outrage if the population learned how to arm themselves. However, the natives continued to practice in secrecy, during which time the name Escrima was coined to refer to Arnis. Grandmaster Porfirio Lanada is not only internationally recognized, but is also the founder of Arnis Lanada, which is a recognized Filipino stick fighting style. His name appears in the 1988 Martial Arts Hall of Fame, and he has more than 50 years of experience in martial arts. He's also published a book alongside his student, Amante Marinas, which was the first book about Arnis. Remy Pressis, another martial arts teacher, whose name appears in the 82 and 94 Black Belt Hall of Fame as Instructor of the Year, is well known for introducing modern Arnis to the general people. He merged basic concepts from various martial arts systems to create his own system. Modern Arnis was approved by the Philippine Amateur Athletic Federation and was to be taught at National College of Physical Education. More recently, Arnis has become a huge part of pop culture since the recognition of martial arts as a valid sport and technique. Arnis is very valuable when training actors for action films or, you know, stuntmen and stuntwomen practicing because a lot of the movements that you learn in Arnis can transfer really well into several other weapons. So Arnis is always something that I suggest to people when they want to learn more weapon-based combat. Arnis is really great for action films, in my opinion, because there's so much you can do with it and there's so many different weapons you can use. And it's fast and strong and clean and beautiful all in one. A documentary by the name Escrimadors was directed by Kerwin Go. The movie includes interviews from various schools in the Cebu area. It also includes the origin of Arnis from the 13th century all the way until the modern era. Arnis's self-defense teaching includes multiple moves that are designed to do exactly that defend. It includes moves ranging and including low kicks, elbow and knee strikes, and disarming techniques against knife, stick, gun, and so many other weapons. San Miguel is a right-handed forehand strike that can be used by most amateurs as well. The Sinawali is a signature move that uses double sticks in a continuously moving pattern that requires immense concentration and coordination. I personally love Sinawali and I always teach Sinawali to people that want to learn more weapon skills. It's really great mentally, and it's also a really good workout for your arms. Redonda, literally meaning round, basically describes a signature move that includes constant circular stick movements that whip around in a circle and come back to its origin. Arnis, as mentioned before, is a defensive technique that all in all has various systems and types ranging from traditional to modern Arnis. Arnis stands out amongst other types of martial arts as it doesn't emphasize the need to fight. 
Once the opponent has been disarmed and has surrendered, it is then completely up to the Arnisador on how to move forward. And with great power comes great responsibility. This is something that I really love about Arnis is that it's so powerful because once you learn how to disarm somebody, you're putting them at a complete disadvantage and you're making them vulnerable because they weren't expecting that. So this practice itself shows the need for creating more awareness for techniques that don't instigate or encourage the use of violence, but rather a way to teach individuals the way to defend themselves from probable harm. I think Arnis is a really great defensive martial art, and again, like I said, it's really wonderful if you're trying to learn some more weapon-based combat, again, a lot of the weapon work that you will learn in Arnis really transfers well into several other weapons, so I highly recommend it. It really challenges you mentally because a lot of techniques you're using your right hand to do one thing, your left hand to do another thing, and then your feet are doing something completely different, and you have to switch things up on the fly and be very aware of your opponent, the sensitivity levels, and how your body is moving in its entirety. So it's really great for your mind, and it's also a really good workout and super, super fun. I recommend anyone of any age to go take an Arnie's class. I don't think you'll regret it. The awareness and sensitivity that you can gain from Arnis is really incredible and so important as a martial artist. All right, everyone, that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed, and please, like I said, go ahead and leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought and add any additional information if you'd like to. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so now, and if you have, go ahead and hit that notification bell. Last thing, if you're not subscribed to my email list, Go ahead and do that now. The link is down below, super simple. Basically, it will keep you updated on everything that I'm doing. You'll receive VIP and early access content, and actually, you'll get my first 25 pages of my new book for free. That book is called How to Stunt in Hollywood. It's a very inspirational book. I recommend it to anyone. It's actually available on the Amazon Kindle store. If anyone is interested, I would love to hear your feedback. So go ahead and subscribe to my email list if you are interested in those free 25 pages and early access and VIP content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.